Ceroni, the San Francisco trees. Hola, mi amigos, it's Lazy Tuesday. John, last Friday you asked us to do an accent. Well, here I am doing an accent. This is the only one I could really think to do. Megan, I say San Francisco a little bit differently than, well, Philip does. But I know a lot of people who say San Francisco. I don't know. It might be a Texas thing, but I think I've heard people from Mississippi say it, and I've heard people from Oklahoma say it, so maybe it's just a more southern thing. Okay, so I was gonna give Greg a really, really mean punishment for not making a video, because I thought he was just being lazy. Um, but I've been talking to him for a little bit, and um, it's been a very interesting conversation. Um, he came up with this idea um, after I started to talk to him, to where, because he didn't make a video yesterday, he talks to me in my video today, and then tomorrow I would talk to Phil during his video or before his video or something, and the same, Megan would talk to Phil. And then Friday, Kim would talk to Megan, or John would talk to Megan, depending on who makes the video. And then Monday, whoever made the video will talk to Greg. There we go. But um, he definitely wanted me to tell you a little about our conversation. Greg wants to let the world know that he can speak broken French. I can speak broken Spanish. And he didn't feel like making a video this week, but then when he was talking to me, he came up with a cool idea, which I just explained. That made video making interesting again. I guess we're being a little boring lately, and I, I kind of agree. Also, he is vain for thinking this way. Oh, and he just got a promotion and was real busy like, so that is another reason for the lack of video. <laughs> Congratulations on the promotion. Oh, and his roommate recently moved out, and right as we're talking right now, his new roommate is moving in. Which reminds me, um, like I realized my roommate's gonna move out in a couple of months, but I need a new roommate. Greg has a favorite song about Texas, I guess you could say. Link in the sidebar, um, he sent it to me, so I'll give it to you guys. It's called Lone Star Song by Grantley Buffalo. Um, apparently Midland is a little bit more well known than I have ever thought it is because I really thought that we are just like this hole in a wall place. And really the only reason anyone would know us is because the Bush family was from here. But apparently not. Um, I forgot to mention that Odessa Midland is also where Friday Night Lights takes place. Yes, this is true. And we're also hometown to the Odessa Jackalopes. Yes. I didn't know they were known at all. Greg was also in Dallas last summer when Hurricane Erica came through. This is really bad. I've never heard of Hurricane Erica. I don't pay attention to the weather ever. This is West Texas. I mean, it never rains. Um, so far this year, we've gotten 1.1 inches of rain, I think is what someone told me today. That's bad. He also decided to start nicknaming us all. I am Hurricane Erica. Bill, I believe, is Lincolnshire Poacher. Megan, I think that you're Dr. Pulaski? Also, last night, Greg thought up a title for his book. It's a book about failure and change, he said, because um, I didn't know what it was about. The title, and forgive me for probably saying all of this wrong, is going to be, or sh probably, maybe, should be, is called The Plight of the Krulian Warbler. I really think it's cool that Greg knows a whole lot about birds. I think I only know three kind of birds. That's it. Um, and even then, like, I would have to see them up close to, like, know what they were. And that's a dove from going dove hunting, a quail from going quail hunting, and a parakeet for going parakeet. No, I'm just kidding. I've never been parakeet hunting. That would be weird, I think. Uh, we also had a long dispute about, like, Texas and stuff. Um, he's a big fan of a and because he hates UT. Um, I really don't have a preference. I could care less. I don't go to either school. I don't even support my own school, so if that tells you anything, I don't know anything about us. I would have to say, though, that I prefer Austin over College Station and... I'm pretty sure that Phil would not be mad by that statement. Um, Austin's crazy. There's always something to do. There's lots and lots of people. And it's also more open to the type of community that I'm into. Uh, acting, theater, artsy kind of stuff. When I asked Greg for any closing thoughts, he said, Um, okay. I need to go to bed now. 
Peace out. And though I don't really know if he put up a gangster sign when he said it, in my mind, Greg put up a gangster peace sign. I'm really awful at making nicknames, so I'm gonna let someone else come up with Greg's nickname. I think his name should be like Parakeet Jones or something. Greg, I hope to see you Monday. Guys, I hope you're all having a great week, and Phil, I guess I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace out. One last thing before I'm gone for good. I just received a very, very strange email, and I kind of wanted to share it with everyone because it made me giggle very much inside. It says, Lacey Tuesday, how is your fight against the letter Y going? Why, it's going very well, Wes. Thank you for asking. How is your fight against the East? And then he also went on to say, if you were a pie, what kind of pie would you be? Now first, let me say that I've never been asked this question before and or been able to think of an answer so fast as today. If I were a pie, I would be a pecan pie. Well, why? Because pecan pies are nutty but sweet. I'd be interested to know what all of you would be if you were a pie. So even if you're not a weekday warrior but a weekday warrior watcher, or you just come across this video, go down there and tell me what kind of pie you would be. Because I want to know who of us is the most tasty. I'm going to leave before I say anything else awkward.